okay let's talk about connection to the database so i will put a link in the description for this article you should read it it will give you uh, a better perspective about the code so and i will just write things here so inside the root for our application i'll create a folder called uh, entities entities like this and inside of it i'll create a file called main.python so here i will establish the connection and just import all of the other entities that i will create and just uh, put them in the database so first thing from pony the package we installed from the orm package inside of there i will import everything so this will import all the packages or the functions and the classes that exist in the orm package now i'll create the database so like this database this is a new instance for the database class to connect we need to call the bind function and pass the first argument is the provider it's not the first but one of the arguments is the provider uh, in my case it's sqlite but if you are using other uh, databases which is most likely you are like uh, postgres or uh, mysql you don't need to install any kind of drivers they already installed that so if you go to the virtual environment go to site go inside libraries you will find the pony package inside of pony package you will find the rm package or yeah uh, and if you go inside the db providers you will see that they already installed all the providers for us so you just need to put the database name as a string in, in Node.js, we usually install that provider and the ORM and then link them together, but here they already did that, so... And actually, you can look at the code if you want, which is interesting. Okay, so provide the SQLite. Now, by default, SQL, you can use SQLite in the memory, so you don't need to create a file, but I need I will create a file, so I will pass these arguments as well. So file name is pony, test.db, and create db equal to true. In your case, if you are using SQL is my SQL or Postgres. You will pass the password and uh, username. So let me just show you. Yeah, uh, like this. You can look at it in the description. So let's re return to the code. And after we just bind the connection, let's just uh, call this function, which is called generate mapping, like this and pass to it create table tables equal to true so if this run without any errors which means you establish connection correctly and this function will just uh, get the mappings which are the entities and migrate them to the database so let's try to run this i already opened the virtual environment here from the previous video so python 3 main or, or go to the entities then main.python so we have something wrong which I think maybe I misplit yeah da database not database <laughs> so everything is fine and I have my database here so yeah that's it